What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Today is the day of the Never Satisfied Builds Truck Show or Toys for Tots Auto Show. And we have a dilemma. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna take the LOI or the LML. I really wanna take the LOI, but here's why I may not be able to. The, the Serpentine belt has been chirping really, really loud. Luckily, the belt I ordered came in last night which was earlier it was supposed to come in today i almost didn't think i would be able to replace it so the dilemma right now is i'm certain that it would be the serpentine belt but it may not be it could be the tensioner but i don't think it would be just because i watched uh, chris fix's video and he kind of showed how you can figure out if it would be the belt or if it would be if it would be one of the bearings or the tensioner and uh, the symptoms that i have definitely related to the belt so let's go ahead and replace it and hopefully it doesn't chirp, and then we can take the LOI to the show. Well, I broke a bolt right there, so it looks like we're taking the LML to the show. Wait a minute, it actually just came out. I was able to unscrew it with my hand, so should I go to the parts store, get another bolt, and then take the LOI? Crap, I totally forgot to film. I went to Home Depot to see if they had another bolt, if there was a chance that they would have another bolt. They didn't, so I'm gonna have to go to a place downtown that kind of specializes in nuts and bolts. So we'll have to do that on Monday. Uh, we are on a time crunch. The show starts in about two hours, but I do wanna get there about an hour early. So we won't be able to take the LOI today. So Cam came over and uh, we washed uh, the trucks and we're about to head out in about 15 minutes. Last year we bought these Fords uh, for the show. I was asked to bring them again this year because we need them. So I kept the Fords in my little basement area. So we got three of them right here, the F-150, the Mustang, and then the Power Stroke. So we gotta take this to the show because people are gonna need the Fords. Guys, it's a joke. I can already sense a lot of salty and sensitive people leaving comments below because I call these trash cans Fords, but it's just a joke. Calm down. So far, that's all the toys that's been donated. And there's a really long line outside, so way more toys being donated. And then here is the Duramax that I was able to test drive about a couple weeks ago. My Denali, it should be selling in the next two weeks. I do have a buyer that's lined up. So as soon as I sell the Denali, I am gonna be looking for an L5P pretty much just like this. I want this exact color. I think it's called like blue metallic colorway or something like that. But I do want this exact same color. If not, I want silver, but I do not want another white or a black truck just because I want it to be a little different this time. The 20, it's a 2006 LBZ, right? Looks a lot like my original, my OG LOI. And I mean, you live right by my house. So like I've seen this truck a couple times and I had to like look at it twice to see if it was my old truck. I love it. And it's an LBZ too, so four-wheel drive and what hundred and jeez that's nothing the they're they're older trucks took care of the yeah oh heck yeah black interior aftermarket head unit edge cts3 heck yeah and then in case your palms get all sweaty yeah that's just <laughs> i like it it's clean Thank you. What's next? What's next? I want a new turbo. New turbo? I like the tur. But what you did to the L um, LOI? Yeah. I like that. I should have brought it. it. Sounds good. Have you heard it? Not in, in real person. Per in person? I've heard it on videos and it just I like it. You need to hear it in person. And I do want a I want a lift pump like you got. Oh, a lift pump? Yeah. Air dog. I, I would recommend doing a lift pump just because you have it tuned. Yeah. It'll just help out with your injectors. Yeah. I don't. Cause if I get a new turbo, I'd have to get everything pipes and all that you don't have to i feel like it would mess it all up because mm -hmm. too much turbo into the the stock pipes you know what i mean you'll be all right yeah if you just get the same size turbo that i got which is a 64 just it's pretty much same size as a stock one it's only a 10 blade so that's what makes it whistle 
so if you're really just looking to get it for the whistle then just get a 64 millimeter and you won't have to worry about like blowing anything up 64 okay where yeah. do you get it from ryan's diesel services okay i've heard you talk about it i'll let you hear it next time yeah, when i I'd get like my truck all fixed up sitting in front of me is a duramax that broke the internet about a month ago boom check out this i think it's an l5p it might not be it might be an lml but it is a duramax looks like looks like it's got a 12 inch bulletproof with some 40s let's see what size tires they are yeah they're 40 by 1550 on some 24 hostile wheels but it's got the bulletproof dual shock kit but wow look at that powder coat sparkles pretty good but really it's the wrap that made this truck go viral i mean this wrap is crazy i mean i don't know if you can tell but even the powder coat on the suspension is pretty mint and look at the hood on this let's see if he's got any piping done there you go honestly can't tell what's done because i can't look up that high but there you go it's a high country If you want to see more of this truck make sure to go follow him on ig i do want to go find him and see if his if his shirt is off today the wallen got an old police car this is way too dangerous for you to have yes it is yes it is can what you think about the new paint job on the front oh okay that's what i thought something looked different you got new headlights too yep new headlights new grill yeah i thought something looked different that's what happens when you hit bandy ah that's right you hit a deer <laughs> the blast like you people move out of your way like why could you do the light or <laughs> well no just because when they see it that's they see true. the highway patrol on that's the front true. and they just they just move right out of your way heck yeah we did like maybe 90 95 all the way down here oh yeah people just move out of your way like it ain't nothing heck yeah we need to get the truck back on the channel oh yeah that's what we're waiting on. This is just a teaser right here. This is a teaser? This is your daily driver? Yeah, daily driver. Daily cruiser? Daily cruiser, absolutely. And I think there might be some donuts in the back that they oh, left yeah? in there. And coffee? And coffee. <laughs> I don't know if you guys recognize this truck, but this is Sal's 2020. Last time you guys saw it, uh, it was in Atlanta. Fans? Yeah, there are all my fans right there. Hey, fans! Woo! Nice. That's more than me. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Oh, yeah, make sure to follow Sal if you guys want to. 2020 Denali HD on Instagram. You got a new lift kit. So this is a 12 inch FTS. This is a 10 to 12 inch FTS kit. I think it's set at like 10, 10 and a half right now, but this isn't uh, complete. So he's gonna he's waiting on new wheels and tires to get uh, to show up. And then he might be redoing some of the suspension parts but i am partnering up with roadshow tires i am going to meet up with them up there in, in atlanta and i'm going to try to document this whole build a uh, rebuild i should say and this is sal's low rider look at this thing it's a beast and the thing is i don't even like low riders and i really respect this build i mean this thing is freaking cool super sick got the deep dish in the back yeah, I know nothing about low riders, but this thing is super cool. Mad respect to this build. It's really cool having a big lifted truck and then having a low rider. All right, I'm backing up, standing behind Taylor. Won't even my truck. I bet you won't lick it. I don't know. I feel like he might. <laughs> huh? I made it on the news. I made sure to get in front of the camera. Oh yeah? yeah. What'd you do? Just went out there, just like walked, and just like kind of looked at the camera and just kept walking. <laughs> you should have been like Ken with the Ram. <laughs> yeah, I could have, but I mean, there's no need to plug myself. I'm already that good. Oh yeah. You wait turn. <laughs> So I actually found, this is the exact same color as Jared's. We can't really tell because it's dark out here, but 
This is that same, what is this, a metallic blue, gray? Oh, dark slate metallic. Dark slate metallic. I saw them roll up and I was just drooling over it because that's the exact color I want. I mean, it's already on the Goyce lift with hostile wheels. Got Mr. Santa on the hood. It's an L5P. What year is this? 2018. 2018. Nice. I love it. So where, where do you live? Pardon me? Where do you live? Tallahassee. Oh, you drove all the way from Tallahassee? Yeah, I need to go to. Tally Denali. Nice. Okay, yeah. If you guys want to see more of his truck, go follow him on his Instagram. But man, how long was the drive? Five hours? Five and a half hours. Woo! Yes, sir. Well, thanks for sh coming. That's cool. Absolutely. Man, you're making me want to get an L5P <laughs> real bad. Well, actually, it'll be blunt with you. Yeah? The reason I went with this truck okay. is you notice the wheels. Martin B1. Oh, oh yeah, okay. You, you helped get his truck set up, right. and that's where I got my inspiration from. Nice, okay, that's awesome. I, I went with the Hostile Furies just like you set that truck up. So. Nice. Yeah, definitely. I love those wheels, because I, I don't know if you watched the video, I put those yeah. wheels on my truck to see how they would look. Oh my God, they look so good. Absolutely. Oh yeah. Like I said, I, I follow you and I follow um, Alex at that white bow tie. Okay. And uh, he's actually from Tallahassee. Mm, I was gonna say Tallahassee um, love. And uh, so definitely, and like I said, when I saw you set up Martin's truck, I was like, man, that's awesome. And uh, actually I was wanting to meet up with him in Daytona, but we never got the chance to catch up with each other. Mm -hmm. And uh, I Instagram or messaged him. Okay. And I uh, said, was he coming up here? And never responded. So. Uh, he, he, yeah, he had, he had to work today. Did he? I yeah, he, he works hard for his money, yeah. so. <laughs> yes. don't we all? So yeah, we, we all do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we are. But yeah. I love it. I love that red truck you got. So oh, thank you. I saw the new truck and everything. That's the one you're going to take Daytona next year? No, I'll probably, I'll have, so. I have somebody buy my uh, Denali mm -hmm. next, uh, in two weeks. I got you. So when I sell that truck, Hopefully I'm I can buy something like this, like this color. There you go. And then build it. I want to do a 12 inch lift at 40s. Okay. Yeah. I wanted to do that the 12 inch on it as well, but yeah. as you see, I'm a short <laughs> man, so I was like 12 inches way too much. I, I have this one set at uh, seven right now. Right. Um, but it is the seven to nine McGoys, and once I get the amp running boards done, right. then I'll put it at the nine inch. So do you have like a bank Stanger or anything like that? No. I got this done just before Daytona. Okay. And uh, you know, I just pretty much did the lift kit, the wheels, all the, the lighting on it. My next step is the horn blaster train horn. Oh, heck yeah. That's my next step. And then um, after that, then I'm gonna start working towards the uh, tune and delete. There you go. So we'll get from there. This truck, I mean, it's already a beast because these trucks almost have a thousand foot pounds of torque oh, yes. from the factory. But once you tune and delete it, oh my God, yes. it's, a, it's an I animal. Know. I, I rode in one of my buddies that he's got, his is a white one. Mm -hmm. He's got it tuned and deleted. I'm just envious though. Right. <laughs> I'm envious though. Just that turbo spool in itself yeah, too. Just in itself. That's the feeling of it, man. What'd you have before this truck? I actually had a uh, 2014 1500. Okay. Um, the uh, diamond white. I took it down to Daytona the year before. Like, okay. And uh, it, it's sort of a... Uh, I felt like I was driving a low rider. Right yeah. So I figured, well, I need to go up. And then, like I said, the inspiration of what you did with Martin uh, pushed me through it. And I said, you know what? I'm going for the diesel. And Heck yeah. Went for the diesel, got rid of the other one and went into this one. My wife thought I was crazy because I put way too much money into the other yeah. one and just pretty much gave it away just so I could be able to get this. So, you know, but it's boys and their toys, as they say. All right. But, well, does she like this truck, though? She loves it. She loves it. She well, actually there you picked go. it out. Oh, she picked it out? She picked it. Oh, she's got good taste in color. She's always picked out my vehicle. Good. So. <laughs> she's yeah. Always, she's always had a, a good taste for my vehicles, that's for sure. Yeah, like, when you parked here, like, from far away, like, I saw you pull up, so I saw that it was blue. Correct. And then from far away, I didn't know where you parked. I got you. And then from far away, your truck looked black just because it's mm -hmm. so dark out here, and you got the light bar, so it kind of, you can't, it kind of makes it hard to see what's behind the light bar. But 
I was like eyeballing this truck because you, you already know I like these newer L5Ps and you got a McGoy's lift so I was like man this truck I want to go look at it like right now see it hit the shade on there it's uh -huh. gray it could be gray it could be the blue it could be the green exactly it, it just changes in the colors and oh yeah it's pretty neat that's what i liked about it yeah and it's different too and, and i don't see very many of them. exactly so. that's why i want it see if you look around you see black truck you see white trucks everywhere but you don't see this blue really anywhere i had to come check it out and he told me that you watched my videos so i definitely wanted to get this truck in one of my videos i appreciate your support thank you my pleasure but yeah guys this this truck oh my god i can't wait to get an l5p and this really makes me want to get this color so hopefully i can find one my second choice is silver so it's either going to be this or silver if you come inside obviously we have matthias's truck so this is it's around 6 30 right now so a lot of people did leave but here is matthias he um this was the booth for the shop that helped him build this truck and then let's see if we walk around we have the sweet tacoma right here i love the lights and one thing i really like about it is actually a four-wheel drive and it's really hard to find the four-wheel drive tacomas nowadays and um they have really ridiculous they have ridiculously high resale value because there just aren't that many of them out there i love the wrap well I love the wrap as well as the TIS logo on it. It's completely different. It's not something you see every day. So this year, they were able to get that many toys. So that is way over Merck's Avalanche. And there's still a lot more on the ground. That's crazy. So thank you guys so much for all showing up and donating toys for making this happen. Yeah, Miss That Why Bowtie. And then we have Mr. That Why Bowtie with the Christmas colors. He has a little wreath for his little Silverado. Silverado. Oh, look, he's got his little Hot Wheels that match his truck that's a completely different year. Their vehicles match Silver Tahoe and Silver Silverado. Well, that's not I, silver? I asked. This is silver. That's silver. That's not silver. This that's is like silver. A, dude, she will get on to you for that. That's like a copper gold. Bro, this is silver. Bro, it's not, it's not Bro, this is silver. I guarantee you it's not silver. I guarantee that's silver. Bro, it's like a... It's like a... It's like, a, it's like, okay. it's like a, No, it's not silver. It's not silver. It's, it's like copper. pewter. It's a copper. It's so, copper something. It's actually a... It's, that's not silver. Is it it's a pewter? It's copper something. If you look at it... But come here and look at it. Bet, this hey, is silver. Look, I bet you five bucks. I bet you this is not silver. Come here and look oh, at it. Silver. No, I bet you five bucks. This is not a silver. This is not silver. That's silver. This is not silver. I want my five dollars, Maddie. You saw that. I want my five dollars, YouTube. I want my five dollars. This is silver. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. $5. This is call, silver. Call up Alex. Call up Alex. Ask him what the color code of this is. It is well, not, not silver. color. Well, it's not going to be called silver. This is more silver than copper. The light is what makes it that way. This is copper. It's a copper color. It's like a transition color they made. It's like a pewter color. But pewter is definitely closer to, closer to silver. This is like what my 05 Silverado was like. Because certain angle, it looks goldish. But ultimately, it's silver. Come on, man. Woo! No, uh, no, uh, you can go on. Come on, come on. Hey, come on, man. Yeah, get up there and get it, man. Oh, I dropped your trophy, but that's cool. right? Yeah, I dropped the truck. Come here, come here, come here. I hope I guys, got that on film. I want to tell you guys something. Listen, I want to tell you guys something. Oh, God, this man him. right here Pitch. spent all day yesterday detailing under his dad's truck. And when I say it looks brand spanking new under there, huge props, bro. Huge props. For real. All right. Look out. <laughs> I ain't going back up. There. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just made a joke. I joked that. Yo, what if he slipped and fell on the hitch? Yo, you hit, I'm glad so I didn't close. fall on the hitch. Y'all seen that Instagram where the guy sits down in the pole? Oh, no. All right, next one. Out of 10, what would you give it? Would you say? It would have been real butter. Would you say? It would have been real butter. I know you know that color. Come on, bro. That's Mark Jeffco's color. Yeah, 
That that actually is Mark Powder Coat. Thank you. The kids love it. Just got back from the show. I actually won a Rectech icer cooler. And the funny thing is, this was the exact cooler that I wanted to buy. So let me uh take it out the box. There you go. That's actually the cooler I wanted to buy. And the funny thing is, I took a screenshot of this cooler and sent it to Cam and told him I wanted it. And uh Lucky enough, I won it at the uh, Never Satisfied Build show. So, yeah, it's pretty nice. It's like hydro dipped. I'm not really sure what that is. Air release valve. So, yeah, this one. Rectech cooler. And then this one right here is the one that I bought from Walmart, which is actually still a really nice cooler. I think it was only like $60. And it's a 77 quart cooler. It did really good for me at Myrtle Beach. And there's actually a video on YouTube comparing this to like a Yeti one. And this one did better than Yeti. Cool, 45 quarts. So that one's gonna be, that's gonna go on like longer trips with us. And then I guess this one's gonna be for smaller trips, but yeah. Huge shout out to Merck with uh, NSB, Never Satisfied Builds, for hosting that show. You killed it. Um, the amount, the turnout was actually way greater than I had expected. And the event was really awesome. So, huge shout out. I know you literally busted your ass for the show. Oh, I dropped your trophy, but that's Hopefully there will be another one in the summertime. And I can't wait for the third annual Toys for Tots, Never Satisfied Builds show. If you were there, leave a comment below. And uh, if you saw your truck in this video, also leave a comment below. But I will see you guys next time. Peace.